it is true landing there into Waft is true, just not necessarily in every percent window. Was able to just get it there before things got too far away from him. Shuton gonna be facing Locus's Terry with his Richter. This is not something you see every day. It feels like such a long time since the last time we've seen Shuton's Richter. Of course, the famous down air on top of the Pikmin. So while we get this match underway, I'm gonna be joined by a new co-commentator. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Shasta. How's it going? Who are you? I'm Bronkopolis. If you've Hello. seen such a good tournament thus far, and with this set here, it's only gonna continue. See, Shulon's going, it's not going all Mars time. He's actually going his Richter. It's yeah, cool. he, he is indeed. Maybe this is a matchup pick. Maybe it's just to do with the unfamiliarity, but nevertheless, it's working out. Holy water into F Smash. The classic. I feel like especially when you're playing like on the fighting characters, you're gonna try and go in all the time. Or like just like try to force their way in. And Richter is one of the main characters in the game that has like a, a get out deal street card up uh, up B or just like a quick option off like that out of shield. So yeah, looks like to be really careful of that to say the least. The Jab Jab Power Dunk, the classic from Terry. You know, it's a very new character, so it's not exactly a classic yet. But yeah. But Shuton continuing to work in advantage. Locus is out of a jump, so has to air dodge. Oh, perfectly spaced power dunk out there. Sitting at 139, has both super specials available. Power Geysers in the wrong direction. But she'll have this control the ledge. That tilt is amazing. <laughs> I'll take that second saga right there. Just gonna use the down tilt to jump from one platform to another, but cannot escape that jab jab power dunk. Unless you have pretty immaculate SDI. Oh, yeah, he still has jump right there. He had to do that. He goes back, but the down smash, he's still looking very strong. Even the F tilt to just repel him back off stage. Terry, but the Buster will. Oh, that smash is too slow. Are oh. you okay? A life saving spot dodge from Locus. Very good DI, I'd say, at least, on, the, on, the, on those upbeats. If you do the DI correctly, that happens. Shoot on. So Shoot on, take the game one right there. Yeah, gonna carry him off the top of the up special out of shield. Locus, I'm not quite sure he was prepared at all for the second one. Yeah, I don't think so at all. I think he was definitely DI again. He's just, he's holding him, trying to get on shoot on shoot on shoot on controlling the crap out of that ledge. But he just cannot do it in the, in the end. And Locus just looks lost. Look at him. He's trying to search for some sort of stage which he can at least pull something back. But for a character you don't see often, you'd think this was his main. He just looked so good in that game one. Yeah, he was doing really well. That's an all-known shoot on definitely made Almar. Number five in the world right now, currently. We'll see how this next PGR, though. He's definitely going to be like top 20 easily, though. Shoot on number five on the PGR in the last iteration, showing why he's rated so highly and regarded as this top player that he certainly is. Focus, meanwhile, dash attacks after the crash shoot. Parries the initial hit oh. and catches himself with the holy water. I don't know how he got back to the ledge there. <laughs> like that. I know he like he's like behind. He's like underneath the stage. He's still got. He's still tethered back. That was really weird. Then again, Richard's, Richard's Simon and Richard's recovery and Gerald's tether is way different from other recoveries because like you can either up air, you can like, or you can just like a uh, forward air and stuff. Or back air to get back. Crazy. Good patience, but he just didn't have anywhere to go after getting back on stage, even after the holy water had gone. Ooh. That smash catch that landing right there. Move his gigantic after all. 
Makes sense, because he's got big as heck whip. But that's the thing about Terry's Buster Wolf. It is a command grab, but it's not a traditional command grab in the fact that it doesn't go through shield. It's more like a head grab, similar to Isabel's fishing rod, but there's no amount of shield that would have saved you from that power geyser. Ooh. One conversion, though, from Shuton moments after. Oh, very dangerous setup right there. Get the Holy Cross right, right to the floor there. Oh, almost came off the side. Oh, great DI there from Shuton. That could have actually been death, honestly. He could just down throw up air and then right to tackle. But, God, they're just immaculately. Landing there. And Lucas the has to go now. I saw last time he, he, he stuffed Shuton's approach with a power geyser. He's going to do the same here, or something similar at least. Goes back out of danger. Another up special out of shield from Shuton. It just seems to be his go to get on the option. Oh. Are you okay? Bust him! Whoa! Hell yeah. He's not looking okay at the moment. Back there from Shuton as he jumps over and the fair to stuff out the jump. He'll just do the best trying to find a way in. And I'll do it. Jab, jab, power dunk, and rolls in. Gonna be caught by the holy water. I'm really impressed with how. Oh, okay, if he got that. I'm impressed with how good Shuton's Richter is, honestly. You've never really seen him play this character much, but. Like, he's. It looks like he's, he's main this character now, honestly. That's how he's playing him. Oh, great lag there from Locust. Dodging around every single one of, of Shuton's projectiles. That's super good. Yeah, Terry is a character that doesn't necessarily. Oh, oh my. I'll do it. I was going to say he didn't have range, but you don't need range when you can combo into Buster Wolf like Buster. that. Wow. <laughs> Locust going to even that out in a flash. That's like my favorite move in the game. Just the entire, the entire thing. Oh, man. This, this has been exciting so far, honestly. I'm a huge fan of, just of, of like. Of projectile carriers, I can do like work like uh, Richter can. Like, it, like especially the way Shuton's playing, where he's playing a lot more like aggressively. He's playing a lot, like really a lot like he play like you know Allmar in this case. Yeah, the Belmonts sort of have an unfair reputation. Ah, oh, they just camp, they just throw out projectiles. Anyone can press the B button, yada yada yada. But I think Shuton is just proving that wrong right here. Look at just the aggression he's able to keep up. He's comboing off of the projectiles. And when he's jumping, he knows which projectile to throw out too. Oh, I forgot that drag down there. Something. Shoot on the immaculate space. Look at this. And shoot on yet to be touched. Locust at 132. Just covering every option. What is he doing? He's in mine right now. I swear. Are you okay? That's it. As you know, though, as soon as, Ter as, soon as Terry gets that 100%, he gets that go meter. So even shoots on. It should not play well there, but like. Shuton has to be careful at least with go meter out. I think he might have been DIing in after that command input because he was just zooming off the top after the up special. Able to get him close to the up smash, too. Oh, that power dunk right off the stage. Super, super nice. Locus not falling too far behind. Be able to get a grab and the rising tackle too. Get those spinning legs out there. But the eye is so. She don't get the eye that up that up air so correctly. Just so we just can't get. Oh. Okay. okay. Gets in the rum and coke. That was good. Four tilts into the burning knuckle. Going from platform to platform with a down tilt, too. And Locus has turned this all the way around. They suddenly controlling this match entirely. It's great. It's cool to watch. The go meter is available, but Shuton certainly cognizant. 
Oh no, he threw out the down smash too after he got caught in the holy in the holy water. I think the forward smash probably would have killed. Probably, yeah. She should do that a few times now. And it's definitely could have been paying for it, especially right now. Logan still has that go. He can definitely up tilt the power guys, which is done correctly. Saw the sparks on the up special, but not the kill. Excellent oh, track down even, there. At that point, even with the eye, is still dead. It's way too close to let's the mayor. I will say, Logan's done a great job of getting back to ledge as well. Because, like, if Terry is up, well, sometimes his build is, uh, up, he's invincible. In this, in this, case, in this case, still getting, like, snapped to the ledge or anything, so. Yeah. He's doing a good job of avoiding that holy wire, especially going back to the ledge. If you do the command input, your entire upper half of your body will be invincible as long as you are rising, but when you're at the ledge, it's fair game. Your invulnerability can run out faster than you know. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Locus power dunks him and shoot on, unable to tech that. Locus is in the wrong place at the wrong time right there. Holds off the comeback and takes game three. Yeah, it's up 2 1 now in the set. Shoot on's aggression is really nice to watch. It's working out really well for him, but in this case, he might have been going a little too hand there. Just a little bit. I think he's switching to Zalmar, though. Yeah. yeah. He wants to take this, I can, I can tell. I miss the Richter though, but shooting on Zolomar, also pretty good. He's known for having more aggressive Zolomar in general, I, I feel. Compared to like everyone else. I mean, I feel like a character that has been able to get you top five in the world is probably more than quote unquote pretty good. Oh yeah, definitely. And after this, Zolomar's pretty gasping amazing. And that is the beauty of Jab Jab Power Dunk as well. Not only Ooh. is it damage applied, but it gets rid of the Pikmin just as Locust got rid of Shuton right there. The anti-air backer is super nice and calling him out the recovery. Locust on fire today. There's all the Pikmin as they'll be returning to him. But that dash attack is going to be easily met with a grab. Oh, but gets purple right to the face, though. Doesn't bring Knuckle back either. That's where we're. That is a little bit where Terry can. Even though Terry's a lot of mix up off stage, you can see he's still very informal. Terry got each of his like, special off stage. And also, Terry's as well, too. That's where a lot of characters will shine against him. And Shaitan saved his life right there. I'm pretty sure that backer would have killed if he, if he didn't get the dabby up. Burning Knuckle though, and the dash attack as he hunts for the kill. Casper Locust didn't go after Shuta anymore there. He was completely out of Pikmin. He could have pulled Pikmin's plug in it, but either way, that dash attack will take it though. That was super good. Locust has shoot on down to winner's side stock. Shoot on playing this very smart, not abandoning his game plan with the purple Pikmin. Attaching the red and yellow just to apply that extra bit of damage. Annoy Locust to no end. Ooh, go back! Get out of here! Oh, that power doesn't take him off stage, though. Oh, I'll, I'll get it again. He's trying to catch a roll on stage, but he puts up the direction of it. Power dunks right into that aerial from Shuton, though. I'll do it right there. Landing aerial. And a lot of his Pikmin were just occupying the ledge, so Shuton had to go right for the ledge there, not in a position to mix him up. A little bit of space on the ledge, not able to catch Shuton going right after this. Oh, he's going for it. Got that power duck. Will that do it off the top? Nope. Good to get from Shuton. He's still living. Knows that he had the entire left side of the oh, stage to work with. But the speed legs will take it right off the top. The rising tackle is going to be the 3-1 for Locust as he 